mass shooters in your manifesto. The shooter in my high school, anti-Semitic, anti-black, and racist. The shooter in El Paso described it as an invasion. Guess what? Those guns are coming from the United States of America. They aren't coming from Mexico. They are not coming from Mexico. You are reiterating the points of a mass shooter, sir. Sir, you are perpetuating this violence. You need to realize this is not a Democrat or Republican. Stop these things now. That's David Hogg, a survivor of the Parkland shooting, and he later explained why he decided to interrupt this House Judiciary Committee meeting on an assault weapons ban. The shooter at my high school was not on opioids. The shooter at my high school was not mentally ill. The shooter at my high school was not a, a undocumented or illegal immigrant. The shooter at my high school was an American, a 19 year old American citizen, white nationalist that espoused hateful rhetoric about immigrants, about black people, about Muslims and Jewish people. He was able to legally arm himself with an AR-15. Stop saying these talking points that these mass shooters are using. Andy Biggs, a Republican representative from Arizona, said that the residents in his state need assault weapons to protect themselves against the invasion across our southern border. Before that video was recorded, there was a Republican that was repeatedly saying that there is a Mexican invasion, a Hispanic invasion, 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 invasion over and over again. And look, I understand we're going to have policy disagreements. So be it. The reality is these mass shooters are reiterating talking points that sure as hell sound a lot like what these Republicans are saying. Andy Biggs isn't the only figure on the far right that is aligned with mass shooters or has inspired them. If you change the population of a country without the consent of the people who live there, is that democracy? Doesn't that country belong to the people who live there? It's their country. That's what democracy is. But what if a small number of hardened ideologues decided to take it away from those people and give it to foreign nationals? That would not be democracy. How is this not an invasion? That's exactly what it is. Tucker Carlson ran a series on the illegal invasion that specifically focused on Uvalde months before the Uvalde shooting. The El Paso shooter wrote in his manifesto, this attack is a response to the Hispanic invasion of Texas. This isn't about hunting. This isn't about the right to bear arms to form a well-regulated militia. This is about white replacement theory. The Buffalo shooter legally bought an assault weapon and used it to racially target a black community. The El Paso shooter legally purchased an assault weapon and used it to target the Latino community. The Uvalde shooter legally bought an assault weapon and used it to shoot up a school that was predominantly Latino. So now we are at a point in the United States where the reason Republicans do not want to ban assault weapons is the precise reason many mass shooters have decided to use them. 